RC, we actually want to get back out to UConn where Matt McFarland is standing by. We're hearing word that there's some students that are getting arrested. Matt? Uh, yep, uh, students getting arrested then, and students continue to get arrested now, as as you can see, uh, one of them getting escorted out right now. It's basically sort of going in uh, with uh, UConn police officers. It's like two, four at a time to go and, and, and arrest these students. And speaking with one of the student organizers earlier today, when he sort of thought that this was coming, noticing the amount of police that were sort of on campus early this morning, he says that's something that we would be willing to do, um, and uh, that is... Is actually happening again around seven o'clock this morning UConn police came towards this encampment by the Dove Tower uh, they've got on a megaphone telling them uh, listen you need to be out of here uh, they went around saying it multiple times uh, if you weren't a UConn student telling to leave campus but to grab your belongings and to go otherwise they would be arrested for trespassing then around 730 a little bit before 730 a number of Connecticut state troopers they came in and sort of uh, surrounded the encampment sort of uh, making a, a, a ring around it a circle around it and then uh, the UConn police department members of that department they sort of went in uh, with the uh, zip ties one by one sort of uh, picking up the students and and and, and placing them under arrest for trespassing. Now, how many UConn students? Uh, I was talking with one of the students that had been here overnight. He said he thought there were maybe about 10 students that were still there, and uh, he was being told that uh, there were about 80 Connecticut State Troopers that were here to assist and about 50 UConn Police Department officers. So uh, those numbers aren't uh, hard and fast, but we can see dozens of officers, both UConn Police and Connecticut State Troopers here as well, uh, as they are placing these uh, arrests, making these arrests here early this morning. And uh, pretty calm. They have been getting a, a large group of students sort of starting to show up because obviously uh, the campus is starting to wake up here at 7.30. Uh, folks are, you know, starting to head to pick up something for breakfast, head to the CAF, uh, the, the rec center, uh, making their way towards campus. So campus is becoming to get a little livelier now as students are starting to realize what is going on here on campus. Big weekend for UConn. You've got finals going on right now. You've got commencement coming up uh, starting Saturday. Uh, graduation ceremonies Saturday through Monday. The university had said that it would be business as usual um, and that students would be allowed to continue to protest as long as they did so following the policies and the rules. Now, spoke with one student who said they were under the impression that this was going to happen, that they would be allowed to continue to protest. Um, and then he said that this would happen um, early this morning. So um, they Talking with students, they sort of had a sense that something was going to happen just by the size, the amount of police that they that they were seeing. Um, and then uh, here we are right now. So again, um, we're told about 10 were still in there. Not quite sure uh, what the official number is, but again, UConn police going and, and making those arrests this morning. Uh, we're told for a trespass uh, for the students that did not leave this um, encampment that has been here uh, as these students again continue to protest. Uh, demanding uh, for an invest, uh, divestment, uh, asking the U university to pull its money out from uh, companies that manufacture weapons, something that we've been seeing on college campuses across the country. You just heard from Marcy down at Yale. Um, so again, the arrests continue. You can see uh, another group of UConn police officers making their way into the encampment right now. Uh, we can see uh, there are still some students that are, are hanging out in the tents. We've noticed um, police officers going from tent to tent to check to see if they can see anybody. Um, again, larger group of students sort of showing up. There's been chanting, um, hands off our students, let them stay. Um, but obviously, the message being sent from the university is that they want these students out of here now. Um, and, and that is what's happening. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks so much, Matt. Uh,